everybody it's Kim from Biz Lab online and welcome to this video now in this video I'm going to walk you through the Facebook power editor and it is really wonderful like absolutely amazing now in order to use the power editor you are going to need a Facebook ad account and if you haven't got one it really is a piece of cake to sign up to so let's move on now first things first we need to come up here to the right now you can sometimes actually access your ad account from here I'm going to need to go to my personal page to get to the ads management section so let's go there straight away now here is my account so let's click on there and then what I want you to do is come over to the left and you will see power editor so hit power editor and let's then proceed three sections to the FB power editor there is campaigns there is ad sets and then there is ads so what we want to do is click on campaigns first hit the plus button and create a new campaign so for this one I'll just call this test campaign one leave this set at auction there is a fixed price but I would leave that at auction and then here is the list of objectives so you've got clicks to website website conversions page post engagement page likes mobile app installs mobile app engagement desktop app installs desktop app engagement offer claims and event responses now I'm actually going to for this video just have clicks to website and then we simply hit create and there is our campaign then we want to come over to add sets so just let me pause those we want to add a new ad find the actual campaign that we've just created which is this new test campaign one now we need to give this add a name add set and in here I'm going to put in LinkedIn because that is who I want to target we then simply hit create and then we come over to the ads tab and we are going to create a new ad we're going to use the test campaign one the new one and then we're going to give our ad a name this is just for your purposes but before I go there I just want to hit create a new ad here and I think I'll just put in here LinkedIn marketing again and the name of the ad I'll just call this uh, test campaign one and let's create the ad now that's processing now what we want to do then is just let me move that up here for you come down so you can see so here we are here is the ad name test campaign one here is our objective now over here to the right you can see preview ads you can have desktop news feeds mobile news feeds or a right hand column ad that can be set there then come down and you can see page post linked to your website that is for news feeds and then if we come down further I might be able to move this up a bit there we go okay here 
we will pick our Facebook page. That is if you have more than one. So I'm going to pick this lab online and I'm going to select the post that I want to promote. Now just a tip here, I would recommend that you actually create the page post on your FB page first before you come in to create your actual campaign ad sets and ads. So I've already gone ahead and I have one. I'm going to come down and I'm going to find the post that I want to promote. And here we are, LinkedIn Business Power. Now here, I would suggest that you create a pixel so you can track that. You'll need to insert that code onto whatever it is that you are promoting, be it a squeeze page, uh, your website, your app, so you can track which ads are working and which ads are not. I won't go through create a pixel here. It is very easy to do. You can see that my ad is over here to the right. Now I'll just come back over here so you can see. Uh, then again, we have news feeds on desktop, news feeds on mobile. I don't want that. And I certainly don't want a right hand column ad. So that is our first setup. Then we have our audience. So at the moment, you have the option to create a custom audience. You can exclude audiences. Now at the moment, this is showing that I'm just targeting New Zealand in locations. So let me put a few more in here. Let's put in the United States. Let's put in Canada. There we go. Let's put in Australia, where I am, the sunburnt country. Uh, let's put in the United Kingdom, comes up for us. And let's put in South Africa. I don't know why, but a lot of people don't seem to target South Africa. When we come further down, you can see we then need to set the age. So I'm going to leave the gender at all, but I'm going to pick a age range of 30 and up. And you can start seeing over here to the right that FB is telling me the potential audience so far. Now we want to set our languages, so we want English US and we want English UK and down here you also have the option to set more demographics by relationships, education, work, ethnic affinity, generation, parents, politics just set for US and life events. Now. This is where you can start to fine tune these ads. So I'm actually promoting a page post with an about LinkedIn. So in here, I'm going to put in LinkedIn and you can see that LinkedIn comes up. And then what you'll also notice is that FB will give you some more suggestions. So in my scenario, they're recommending Yelp film festival, venture capital, TED conference, Dropbox, etc. Now, the other cool thing here too, is you can actually target the pages of your competition. So as an example, if I wanted to target people who have liked the page of Frank Kern, I just simply put in here, Frank Kern, and you will see that Frank Kern will come up. So that's where you'll need to do a little bit of research on your competitors. You can then um, put in behaviors, what type of digital activities, devices, travel, uh, Facebook categories, broad categories, um, and then you've got connections. Now, target users who are connected to, you can enter your page, app, or events name, target users who are not already connected to your page and then you can target users of whose friends are connected to and put in a page in here. So 
This is great when you are wanting to actually retarget your ads once you see a drop off in your conversions. So I'm just gonna leave that all blank for now. And then the last thing is optimizing and pricing. Now at the moment, FB is telling me that I want a CPC, a clicked paid conversion, and they're giving me a suggested bid of $1.77 ranged between 93 cents and 2.47. I'm actually just going to put in what FB suggests. And then you have the option where you can actually also schedule as well. Then what we need to do then is simply upload those changes and you'll see the FB will go ahead and upload that into the power editor very quickly hopefully and then what you can see is this test campaign is pending FB's review and once they've approved the ad you'll get an email in your inbox saying that it has been approved and you are on your way and this FB Power Editor is great for setting up multiple different campaigns, multiple ads to see which are working and which are not. And below this video, there is a direct link where you can download the Power Editor PDF document, which will actually guide you through the whole process itself. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.